All right, so I'm gonna make this quick. This is all gonna be one long update. I haven't filmed too much this week. I've been busy, I should say, um, and I haven't been busy doing anything interesting. Well, I've been, let me explain, okay. We came home from our trip Wednesday. No, Thursday, Tuesday. We came home from our trip Tuesday. Wednesday spent the day um, cleaning the apartment, going shopping, and kind of like resetting, you know, our lives, getting back into our regular lives. And Jared had orientation for Universal, like the next couple of days. And he had like did working and training and on the job training. Da 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 da. Anyway. Um, I started work on Thursday, um, which was a week ago, um, and I hurt myself doing something. It was like one of those gradual things. There wasn't anything in particular that I did to hurt my leg, um, or not my leg, it was like my sciatic nerve, um, and I didn't realize that's what it was until the next day, Friday, in which I was pushing an ECV and really hurt myself um, that Friday. And to the point where I had to be sent home because, like, I couldn't do shows. I couldn't work. And, like, that's a really, really big deal um, in the life of or cast member world. So um, I knew what it was. I didn't go to the doctor. Um, my mom had the same exact thing. So I called her immediately, and she sent over medicine and physical therapy exercises and things for me to do. And I was pretty much bed bedridden the entire weekend. Um, luckily, that week, I had done all the chores and everything that they needed to be done. All that was left to do was just you know, fun stuff for me. So it gave me time to kind of reflect on myself and think about life and think about my job and think about th doing things for myself, um, especially since my home office is up and everything, which I probably will show you that. I wanted to show you guys something really cool. My home office. And this is pretty much it. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Okay, so let's start with my drawer here. So this is an end table. Um, that it's just like one of the end tables that was handed to uh, handed down to us, but I painted the f top drawer. I did the same with my other end table. Um, it's a little chipped. Please ignore that. But like I have my some of this is only some. I haven't finished unpacking from our trip. These are all of my different um like mounts and things and basically any vlogging like handles and things. Um, I even keep like batteries. Like you can see right there in here. Typically that's more full. And then this is pretty much everything else. Um, envelopes, crayons, paint, pens, paints. That goes up there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just like any other craft like desk things that I think I might need. Um, we have, I am loving this candle. It is Garden Rain. It's from Walmart. Um, I put a little golden stripes on it to make it kind of go with the theme better. It's a cute headband that I got from. Oh, I think it was my aunt-in-law, I want to say. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but someone gave me this. It was really cute. This is a box. It's a birch box, but we actually keep... That can go away. Actually, I need to work on that. Never mind. Um, this is a birch box, but I have our receipts in it. Um, like everything that Jared and I haven't written down in our little budget book, um, which is over there. Over there is our budget book. And then like, these are all like our important files and things. I'm going to take that gold tape and put stripes up and label it. But anyway, so that's that. This is my beautiful, beautiful table. I've become like so in love with this table. It is literally just your typical, like, um, it was white plastic um, that just kind of folds out, which is why I got it. I wanted it to be something that we could move easy in case I don't like the setup. But I spray painted it this pretty teal blue. Um, and then this is a gold placemat that I actually got from my bridal shower. Um, I just literally just laid it on top and it looks so pretty. I love it so, so, so much. Um, this is literally just like a see-through tray that I was using to keep like collectibles in, but I decided to kind of ixnay on that and now it just has like gift cards and things from our wedding. Um, this is a music box, um, that I got years ago. Um, it's just like notepads and dry erase board and clip just in case I, oh, this is some vanilla incense that uh, Emily gave me. My very first external hard drive, this literally has like my whole life at least before like the last year or so in it um this is a mug that like broke but i absolutely love it so much so i keep all my pens and pencils and things my favorite zoom zooms these are my absolute well most of my absolute favorites especially the 
kitty cats. Oh, this cool. This is a um, a shelf that was pink and purple, and I spray painted it gold, and the inside I painted the dark blue, and then I colored in this, um, painted this light blue as well. So it's completely customized to our colors. And then I have, um, these are gonna go up on the wall. These are Insta Instagrams. I keep calling these Instagrams. These are from my Instax camera from our bridal shower. And then some post-it notes that just happen to be the same colors and I did not realize that they were the same colors. This is a frame, it's a dry erase frame. Um, basically you just, you know, can use dry erase pens on it. This was silver, I painted it metallic teal. Um, this is literally just a scrapbook page that I put in here. And um, yeah, this is kind of like my to-do list stuff. This is a cork board. Um, literally it was just a plain cork board that I spray painted literally with the same spray paint as that. And then I drew out with a pen and painted in. I just finished this and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I actually got this picture from uh, Pinterest um, where it's like spray painted kind of or like splatter painted. And I just painted or drew the outlines with a uh, ballpoint pen um, on top of the blue spray paint and then painted, hand painted in um, with the same paint that I used for the dots and pretty much everything else in the room and painted them the colors of our bedroom um, slash my home office. And I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it's the cutest thing ever. And then this is my, I've had this ottoman for like the longest time, but I love using it as a seat. I keep a bunch of like kind of collectibles and things in there that I probably actually need to go through again. Um, but this cushion is not very comfortable to sit on, especially since I recently injured my hip slash butt. And so I just have a cushion here that I'm using with the uh, same, um, this is, was actually in our, from our guest room, but I mean, nobody's in there. So I decided to steal one of the, um, which Macaulay's pillowcases from our bed set that we use for our bed. And so this is, yeah, my, my home, my home office, it's right by our dresser. It's kind of right in the middle of the room, as you can see. But like Jared has his, and this one is mine, and I absolutely love it. So that said, um, I decided that I'm gonna start up a digital, or I'm gonna start up an Etsy shop. Um, it's inspi I'm inspired by um, a friend of mine. Um, she has a little Etsy shop called, um, I think it's called A Little Papery. Um, she's a graphic design major like myself, um, but she's a stay-at-home mom and she does freelance work. And that's pretty much my dream job, to be a stay-at-home mom and do graphic design freelance work um, because that's what I absolutely love to do. Um, and so I've been, this week, I, I, I've literally been coming home and like brainstorming ideas, doing sketches. Um, over the weekend while I was in bed, I did sketches and was like looking up ideas and researching ideas on how to go about all this, um, you know, how to do products, how to sell products, how to list the descriptions, how much to sell certain products. And I've been, you know, I've been going, when I did go to work, I'm mean, gonna get back into that in a second. Um, I've been coming home immediately and like sitting down at my office and like, you know, doing the, basically going through my old projects, seeing what I can use, seeing what I can modify um, to reset sell and all this other stuff and so because that's what I'm going to do that said that's taken up a lot of my time my spare time and I love doing videos I love 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 doing these vlogs and these videos and things but the problem is is that it's taking up way too much of my time way too much of my time that said, starting this weekend, you're not gonna get a Sunday video every single week. You are gonna get Danny Diary videos because I love doing this so, for me so I can go back and I can look at my life on what it was like and I also like sharing this, my life with my family and friends and so on and so forth. So I will continue the Danny Diaries. Um, I will continue to do the Bridal Diaries because that also ties into, you know, sharing my life. You may still get recipes and stuff like that, um, like if I have spare time. And I'm gonna continue doing my, vlog, my blog because um, I really do like writing. Um, I don't know if you're going to get one every weekend, um, but I'm going to try my best again. Um, but this is going to be my first priority when it comes to my projects because it's literally what I went my went to school for for, for almost five years. It's what I'm paying my stu thousands and thousands of dollars in student loans for. Like, this has got to be my first priority. Um, and it's something that I wanted to actually do a job in. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Um, like I said, you're still going to get videos. You're still going to get blogs. I'm still going to be on Instagram and all this other stuff. You're just not going to get a Sunday video every single week. For my Disney College Program channel, I may move like the Sunday special Disney Parks videos over there. I don't know exactly. Um, I am going to continue doing my series on like, you know, what's my role and like going, talking about all the different Disney roles that I did. But as of now, you're just not going to get like 
an actual Sunday video every single Sunday. Keep an eye out for my Etsy shop coming up here soon. I'm really excited about it. It's just going to be digital downloads for now because um, I don't have time to like print out and ship things. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, so I went back to work on Tuesday and my legs still kind of hurt um, but like it's all about like supporting my back and my core and like using my abs once I do that then I'm able to do everything that I need to do for work um, and my leg has gotten significantly better every single day um, now I've been working only six hour shifts which has been nice because I haven't worked a six hour shift in months literally months so that has helped I did work a full eight hour shift yesterday this is after working three days in a row and my leg does hurt it's my leg and my back um, so today, which is an 11 hour shift, is going to be really interesting, but today is also Friday. Um, Jared and I are hopefully going to be going to Universal this weekend. Um, he's been wanting to go since he started training and I just, I just wasn't able to go. Like I would have loved to have met up with him after he, you know, did orientation and like hang out in the parks like we did when we were cast members, you know, first became cast members, but unfortunately we just... I was hurt. I wasn't able to get out of bed. So we may do that this weekend. I don't know how long we're going to be there, but I know Jared wants to kind of explore a little more since that's now his home park. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this isn't a full-blown like Danny Diary video. Like I said, a lot has been going on. I've spent a lot of thinking and resting time, so there hasn't really been much to film. Um, but there will be really cool projects coming out here soon, and um... Yeah, give me some ideas for like digital downloads. Like I'm gonna be doing wallpapers and cards and like um, like art that you would frame, like just print out and frame, like type and quote art and stuff like that. Um, give me some ideas and some things that um, that you guys would be interested in seeing or that you may like. Um, all of my products are gonna be more or less five dollars and under, so they're gonna be really affordable um, starting out anyway. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Oh. One more thing before I leave, um, I'm not going to get into what it is, but just pray for my mom um, for like a medical reason. I'm not going to get into it. Hopefully it's nothing big, but it's something that could be really serious and it's kind of like a really big prayer. So like if you pray or just keep her in your thoughts or whatever you do or whatever, just keep my mom in prayer because yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching and I got to go to work because I'm going to be late. Bye.